We got to the library to get some good uh, studying done today. Wow. Nice study rooms up here. Oh, I think they assigned me to room 570. Let me get moving. I wonder if anyone's in here. Okay, let me get to work. Oh, hey, Dr. Romano. This is the room they assigned me to use to study. What are you doing in here? Hi, how are you? I'd like to go over a really good problem that I'm going to show the study group kids. Um, before I start, uh, hopefully you're all enjoying the study group. Um, I'm not a dental student who's posting question of the day bullshit. Um, each day I write my own questions up and sometimes I just think of all different types of questions from all the different sciences. I write up all my questions. I don't have anybody writing anything up. At the spur of the moment, I think of novel things and things that you'll find interesting. I find the study group has sort of evolved. Um, it's evolved into some kind of cyclopean science forum that kids can go, and we have medical doctors and PhDs and scientists who are always adding input into the questions, so hopefully you're, you're enjoying it. Um, I really try to make it interesting, so take it very serious, but at all times, always remember, I keep it at the level of the debt, so I'm never going to give you a question that I don't think is fair game. So come along, and I'm going to show you a really novel question. You've never okay, seen Dr. Before. Romano. I'm in the study group, Dr. Yeah. Romano. Do you see me there? I do see you. Now, okay. before we do anything, normally to reduce down a benzene ring is very difficult. Benzene is very stable. But one nice way to do it is known as a birch reduction. And I want you to look at what I've done. I'm going to take benzene and I'm going to treat it with sodium and ammonia and ethanol. And what it does, it gives you a diene, but it's not conjugated. It's an isolated diene. So notice how we reduce one of the double bonds down. It's a radical mechanism, which we don't need to get into. But you, you get the result of a diene, but it's an isolated diene, meaning it's not conjugated here. Now, what I do, once I get this, I can just reduce it down normally, say two moles of hydrogen and platinum, and that shows how I can go from benzene into cyclohexane. Now, you had to know the birch reduction to understand this problem, and it's not a most commonly asked question, the birch, but I think you're gonna find this interesting. So let's do an example in which I'm going to brominate naphthalene. So what I did is I simply brominate, and whenever you have naphthalene, there's two types of products you can get. You can either go to the one position or the two position. All these positions are equivalent, as you can see where I put little dots. So they would all be the number one position. So you could put the bromine there, or you could have put them here, but when you do chemistry with naphthalene, you always go to the number one position. And, of course, don't put anything between the ring junctions. Once I brominate it, I make the Grignard. And once I have the Grignard made here, I deuterate it with D2O. That simply replaces the MGBR with a D. Now I do my Birch reduction. And as you can see, when I did the Birch reduction, you get your isolated molecule. Now, this is a triene. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. This is a reagent called chloroform. Now, be very careful if you see this on the dot. What would chloroform do across a double bond with base? Well, one of the double bonds is going to react. So we have to make a decision. Which one is it? The middle double bond is more substituted. So a nice way to think of it is it's more electron rich. So we're going to add to the guy that's more richer. So what I do is CHCl3. You can think of it as if you took off an H and a CL, you're going to be adding on a C and a, a C and a CL, like this. The question is, where does this go on? It goes to the middle, and as you can see, this is called a carbene type of mechanism. We don't need to go into the details, but there's the C, CL, CL from the reagent. And there's your final product. This would be a fair game question. I can't say that this wouldn't be a fair game question, but it's definitely what I call that destroyer worthy. So go to your that destroyer book and put this question in. This is a great question. I didn't put it in our new book. I wanted to do it with you live, and I think you'll enjoy, I thought, hopefully you'll enjoy it. 
All right, guys. I did, Dr. Amani. You said chloroform. You can get people give uh, put chloroform on over your mouth and the tissue right. that and can knock you out. On you. All right, good day to you. That's Bye -bye. not nice, Dr. Amani. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. See, I can't put no chloroform on me. I'll keep talking day and night.